Good morning. I'm going to do a different kind of video today because I was going through my Snapchat and I saw all of my old colic videos because Lowen had colic really bad. I know I was vlogging then, but not as much and just very little probably about it. But oh my gosh, I was going crazy. That was hard because if you don't know, I am a single mom, very single mom, actually not bothered by it anymore. When he was baby, he it was really hard. It was very hard to be fully alone, zero help. Like nobody was there to help me. And my kids were young still, like they were all under like 11 and under at the time, maybe just turned 12 and under, but still like, still kids. I'm not gonna be all, watch your brother so I can go crazy. So yeah, let's talk about how to survive colic. And I will put all the information right here of what colic is, but if you don't know, but if you're watching a mom channel, you probably do. But yes, he had it horrible. And it started out, I thought he was gassy, just the typical, like you never expect your kid to have colic. But oh my gosh, it was horrid. And I've heard about it and I'm a fairly patient mom. Like, yes, I go crazy once in a while, but no. Like, so it started out with me thinking he was just gassy at night. So I was making sure to burp him, um, he got some tummy time, just anything that, that would help, you know, alleviate any pressure he could have. It was not gas. And then I'll put some, I'll insert, I think I have two, three clips that I could insert right here. <coughs> not working tonight. <coughs> but yes, it was just that all night long. I didn't get any sleep. I'll also insert a clip here of when I finally did get to fall asleep and you could see how just I'm gone. I'm gone. I had checked out mentally I think at that point. But yes, I'll put that one here. So he, it, it goes away of course. Thank God it doesn't last long. I will say he's going to be three this year and he still doesn't sleep through the night. That just started two weeks ago and he'll still wake up once. Every once in a while, he'll wake up around 11, but I feel amazing. I feel amazing. It is like he's sleeping. My body is like, I'm oversleeping because I have not slept in three years. So I'm oversleeping just by getting six hours of sleep, which is pretty sad, but no, all I did... <clears throat> to survive it as sad as it is a lot of it is just patience because there's nothing you can do there's nothing you can do at all and they say they're not in pain which kind of is weird to me because there's something going on it's not fun it's not fun for you i'm sure it's not fun for them but walk away put them down in their crib or somewhere and walk away especially if you do have help if you have a spouse or anybody there to help an aunt an uncle whatever use them do not be scared to ask for help because if i had someone that would help me i would have been asking all the time because it mentally drains you like there's people that hurt themselves or hurt their babies with colic and it's just it is draining like you're tired from having a new baby and then with me i've got four kids all together so of course i'm tired and no one to help me and it was just that was a struggle so my only tips I have to survive it is lots of you time because a happy mom, like I struggle with that still to this day because I feel guilty if I am not focusing every second of my day on them. But if you don't, you're going to go crazy. And I feel like it makes you a better mom. Like even like my mom time, my alone time is taking a bath. If I just sit in the bath for a little bit, I'm fine. I, when he had colic, I'd go sit in the car because like I didn't want to hear it, you know, like you're hearing screaming in your ear all day. And then it was starting to affect my kids because they couldn't sleep. So it was just hard. That was so stressful. But it does. It goes away. It ends. It's just one little second in their whole life, you know, like it, you do go crazy at the time. But during the day, they're fine. <laughs> He was fine during the day. It was just at night. 
So my tips are just to focus on you. Make sure all the baby's basic needs are met. They are in a safe spot. Ask for help. Walk away when you need to walk away. Take as much time as you need. And yeah, just focus on you. Sleep where you can. The, the main thing would be if there's help, then to ask for help. Because I would have. If I had anybody to help, believe me, I would have. I wish I lived closer to my sister because <laughs> she would have had she would have been here all the time all the time so yeah that would have been immaculate but yes focus on you take that bath take go for a walk in front of your house you know like do something because you will go insane and nobody wants you know you don't want anything bad to happen because it does it drains you mentally so yes there's my not very many tips because again there's not much you can do you, it sucks because you can't help them and you want to, but there is nothing you can do except just patiently, as patient as humanly possible, wait it out, sleep when you can. It's just, it's hard, but again, it's worth it because they're sweet little adorable babies. So definitely I think I hear mine coming right now. So I'll let him in to say hello if he comes in. And other than that, good luck, and hopefully it goes away soon. <laughs>